If you wanted to catch a monkey, would you use a mouse trap? Take a coconut, cut off the top, scoop out all the meat, and then put inside some food that the monkey really likes. That's the bait. And then you make sure that the hole is just big enough for the monkey to get his hand in, but too small for the monkey to pull out his hand while holding onto the nut. And make sure that you chain it to something so that the monkey can't take the coconut away. To get away, all monkey needs to do is let go. <laughs> but most won't. Hi, welcome to Growing Resilience, Bay Localize's launch party for our much anticipated, ever evolving community resilience toolkit. We recognize the fact that we're in an environmental crisis, an economic crisis, and a social crisis. But few people realize that we're also in a spiritual crisis. Social change is not just about our actions and our events, those things bring us together, but it's really about the quality of the relationships we build. This Community Resilience Toolkit that we've put out is really an ode to good ideas. It's designed for groups who want to get their heads around these issues of climate change, peak oil, economic instability. What's it, what is it going to mean for them? And what can they do about it? Something really solid. Here in the Bay Area, we are up to the challenge. Bay Area, are we up to the challenge? Yeah. Are we up to the challenge? Yeah. You know, just think, if someone was really drawing on all of your creative abilities, and you were doing that for each other in your communities, wouldn't you come up with the most outrageous, incredible solutions to these times we're in? Um. So I, I think this toolkit's really radical in the best sense of that word, from the Latin root, radix, meaning root. You know, if you ask people when you garden, you cut weeds off at the surface, or do you pull them out by the roots? People understand the concept of radical. So what's the opposite of a transnational corporation that's not rooted in place and not green? It's the local green economy. Yeah. So local green economy work is so radical because it doesn't seem radical. It just seems sensible. The imperialist corporate empire ripping off money, you know, bank, or, that's crashing. That's the Titanic. It has hit the iceberg of unsustainability and is sinking. We on the left need to shift our politics from running around the deck with protests on this boat sucks. And instead, build the next boat, a solar powered, wind powered boat, party on deck, scantily clad people, dancing to cool music with drinks in their hand, and pull up alongside the Titanic and people will jump willingly to our boat. Well, you know, my friends, when they, when they are in a basketball game and they get fouled out or something like that, they're able to bounce back immediately to the game and get their hands to the game and nothing else. I think of Leonard Peltier um, from the American Indian Movement, mm -hmm. and he's been incarcerated for I don't even know how many years, but he just keeps on giving the same sort of non-violent approach, very centering in himself too, and also speaking out for his people and being an advocate even behind bars. And I think that keeping that positivity and that hope for the future is something that resilience is. So. Like, you know, I mean, basically, you know, don't let the recession affect them and actually, you know, just keep trying to uh, continue whatever project you try to do, just get, continue to do it. And, you know, I mean, how can you bounce back if you ain't never fell off if you, because as long as you keep going. I've been searching and searching for some equality. It's so hard living in this cocoa world. Yeah, we just got the new Green Media Arts Center going in Oakland. Um, it's a youth-led project. We have a youth team called the Green Team, which helped design the facility with non-VOC paints, 
ecologically friendly carpeting, uh, planter boxes, an aquaponics system, and we're getting ready to do some solar power installation. They're helping make a lot of these tools to help us remember that they are ancient. Sustainability is ancient and it's not necessarily innovative, it's just different than this current exploitative model. So when you we're speaking to each other in a way that honors that all of this is already inherent in us, it activates that more and really invites our best self forward. I've seen a lot of monkey traps in my time, and I'm just now realizing it. But challenges are what make us grow. And I know it can work for our communities, because I see how it works in my own life. It's really all about getting started. It's all about getting started. Oh yeah. It's not what you look like when you're doing what you're doing. It's what you're doing when you're doing what you look like you're doing. Express yourself. Express yourself.